Okay, boys and girls, it's time to show you our balloon striking challenge. Okay, for this challenge, boys and girls, we're going to put you through some skill levels where you're going to practice your different types of strikes. Overhand, underhand, forehand, and backhand. Okay, so for our warm up, remember, coach said that you can use your hand to strike an object, your foot, or any other body part, but you can also use, remember, you can use an object. And so for our warm up, I want us to warm up with an object. So coach made this little paper plate paddle using a ruler and a paper plate. If you have these items at home, it's just taking a paper plate and taping a ruler to it. Now, if you don't have these items at home, you can use other things at home, like say a book, right? Everyone has books in their room, right? You can use a book to strike an object, okay? Now, if you don't have a book, maybe you have a folder or a notebook, right? You can use that to strike your object. Okay, so let's get started with the warm up. So, for the warm up, boys and girls, I want us to be able to strike our balloons, controlling it in the air, and maybe turning your hand each time, and maybe trying different strikes overhand, underhand for a total of 10 times, okay? Mix it up a little bit. Try not to do the same strike every time. So, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, once you complete 10 with one hand, try your other hand, right? Ten. All right, so that's your warm up. Okay. If you want to go more than 10, that's fine. Coach always loves extra practice. You can never practice enough. Okay, let's get you ready for round one. Round one is going to be pretty simple. For round one, I just want you to keep the balloon in the air using your hands, okay? And so you just want to give it a toss and use your hands to just have fun, move around, learn how hard to tap the balloon. Maybe you want to try one finger or four fingers or your palm or the backhand, right? Use different types of strikes, backhand, underhand overhand but whatever you do do not let it hit the ground okay see if you can keep the balloon alive and in the air for 20 20 strikes 20 strikes underhand okay so that's round one okay round two oh. We're going to work on our first type of strike, which is underhand. And so in round two, boys and girls, we want to once again, keep the balloon alive and in the air. But every time we strike it, we want to underhand strike it every time. And so I want you to work with your right hand first, 10 underhand strikes, keeping the balloon alive. And then your left hand, 10 underhand strikes for a total of 20 strikes. And so it goes a little something like this. And 10. All right, good job, good job. Okay, boys and girls, here comes round three. In round three, we're going to overhand strike. And for this, we're gonna need a wall. So you wanna stand about this far from a wall and you want to take your balloon and you wanna overhand strike and have it bounce back to you for a total of 10 times with your right hand. And then guess what? 
Right. Ten times with your left hand. And so it goes like this. One. Two. So now, boys and girls, if you can, and if you're good enough, maybe you can keep striking it without ever catching it. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's tough. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. We switch over to the left hand. And ten. All right. All right. Moving on to round four. Once again, we're going to use a wall to help rebound for us. So for this, we're going to forehand. So we're using the front of our hand, forehand, to strike, bounce off the wall, catch. And once again, just like in the overhand, if you're really good enough, you can strike and continue to strike. And the ball will just keep coming back to you and you never have to worry about catching it but that takes a lot of practice. And so it's 10 with the right hand, 10 with the left hand. All right, coach really needs some practice with his left hand. I think I'm gonna be practicing over the weekend. Okay, moving on, round five. Round five, can you think, can you guess what round five's gonna be? What's the one strike we haven't done yet? Right, backhand, backhand strike. And so for this one, it's the same thing, five, sorry, 10, with your right hand, 10 with your left. This time coach is gonna start with his left hand and then I'm gonna show you the right. Okay, so it's backhand off the wall, catch, backhand, ready? Ten. All right. So we've done all four. Overhand, underhand, forehand, and backhand. Okay, boys and girls, for level six, we're going to go combination striking. So we're going to go overhand, underhand. So what that means is every time you overhand strike, your next strike has to be underhand. And then every time you underhand, your next strike has to be overhand. So this is going to really get your body moving because you got to move, 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 get to the ball, pop it up, pop it, pop it. OK, a lot of striking, a lot of moving. OK, you got to control it. It takes a little practice, but we want to go once again, 10 with this hand, 10 with your left hand. So it looks like this. Overhand, underhand, whew, it's a lot of moving. Okay, so like we did with the other ones, right? 10 with this hand, and then you try to overhand, underhand combination, strike with your left hand. So that's round six. All right, boys and girls, good news. You have made it to the final round. So the final round, friends, is our special challenge round. 
and in this round, boys and girls, you're going to strike the balloon and keep the balloon alive in the air. But this time, you're going to have to use a different body part every time you strike the balloon. So this, this round, friends, is extra challenging. And so we saved it for last. And so you want to see if you can make 10 strikes without the ball hitting the ground. And so here's my example. You can use any combination of body parts you want, okay? You like using your toes or your feet, use your feet. You like using your hands, as long as you use a different part each time. And so here we go. Hand, head, hand, knee, that's three, elbow, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy, right? Yeah, I know you're going to make it look that easy too. And so that, friends, is our balloon striking challenge. Will you be able to make it through all the levels? Of course you will. Yeah, maybe not on the first try, but with a little practice, you'll have it down in no time. So I want you to keep working. Don't give up. Keep practicing. And then before you know it, we won't need balloons anymore. We can move on to beach balls. And then after beach balls, we can move to volleyballs. All right. Have fun with this, friends. Challenge your brother or sister or maybe go against mom and dad. See if you are a better striker than them. And always keep moving, have fun, and I'll see you boys and girls in our next video. Okay?